Yo, what's up everyone? Patrick here. Welcome back. Moving on to the next question. This is one of the tougher questions you can get in this section. And a lot of teachers, they won't cover as complex of a function as the third root of x when you're finding the slope of the tangent using the difference quotient. But some students have come to me with these functions. So I decided to make a video for it in case your teacher is going through a similar function. So in this question, what we're going to do is we're going to find the coordinate on this function, the third root of x, <clears throat> where the tangent is perpendicular to the line 12x plus y minus 5 is equal to 0. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to find what the slope of this line here is. So I'm going to put it into y equals mx plus b form. So I'm going to isolate for the y. So basically, we just got to bring the 12x over bring the negative 5 over, so we'll have y equals negative 12x plus 5. So the slope for this line, we can tell, is negative 12. However, we're trying to find the coordinate on this function, the third root of x, where the tangent is going to be perpendicular to this line. And if the tangent is perpendicular to this line that has a slope of negative 12, that's like negative 12 over 1, well, a perpendicular slope to this would be the negative reciprocal of this. So we would flip it, change the sign, we would end up getting 1 over 12. So what we have to do, another way this question could have been worded, is we have to find on this function, the third root of x, where does the slope of the tangent equal 1 over 12? That's basically what we're going to be doing. So what we got to do is we have to find out what the slope of the tangent is in general for this function. That's where it's going to be tricky. So it's basically the limit as h approaches 0 of f of a plus h minus f of a all over h. That's the general difference quotient formula. And we got to apply this on this specific function. So we're going to have, after this, we're going to end up with a general expression for the slope of the tangent at any x value, at any a value. And then we have to find the x value or the a value where it's going to equal 1 over 12. So what we're going to end up having is the limit as h approaches 0. Now f of a plus h, we would plug in a plus h for the x value. So we would have the third root of a plus h. And actually, instead of writing the third root, I'm going to rewrite this function as x to the power of 1 over 3. Right? The third root to the power of 1 over 3, those are the same. So I'm going to rewrite this as a plus h to the power of 1 over 3 minus f of a would just be <coughs> a to the power of 1 over 3. And that's going to be all over h. So as we did in the previous examples, what we have to try to do is get rid of this h here. The question is, how are we going to do that when we're dealing with the third root? <clears throat> and what we're going to have to do is we're actually going to have to rationalize this. But what's going to be tricky is we're going to have to rationalize it using the difference of cubes. So just to uh, recap rationalization, usually what we're doing when we're rationalizing something, we have something like, let's say, root x minus 2. And to rationalize this, what we do is we multiply it by the conjugate, which is root x plus 2. Right? We just change that sign in the middle. And when we multiply these two, basically, we end up getting x minus 4. And so what's happening here, uh, let me write the process again. What's happening here is that we're basically using the difference of squares formula. This would end up being a minus b and then a plus b. So we're given this expression, which is like the a minus b, right? You see how these two relate. We multiply it by a plus b, and then we end up getting a squared minus b squared. So we're going to do something similar here. But in this case, we're not going to be using a difference of squares. We're going to be using a difference of cubes. So a difference of cubes, the formula for that, if you remember, is a cubed minus b cubed equals a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. 
like that. So what's happening is this term is basically this term, All right? So I'm going to come back to that. Let me just write it over here, All right? This is kind of tough to explain, but basically we're going to rationalize this the same way that we rationalize that other term that I just showed using a difference of uh, squares, but now we're going to be using a difference of cubes. So this term is like this part over here. So notice that the a value, you know what, maybe it's better to use, uh, yeah, let's use different letters just so you're not getting confused. This a and this a are not the same. So I'll just use m and n. So we'll have, um, m squared plus mn plus n squared like that. So notice that the m value is the a plus h to the power 1 over 3, or the third root of that. And then the n value is a to the power of 1 over 3. And so notice that if we rationalize this, we would multiply it by m squared, which would be this to the power of 2, right? m squared would be this m value to the power of 2. 2 times 1 over 3 would be 2 over 3. So we would end up with a plus h to the power of 2 over 3. And then we would have, let me erase that part. And then over here, we would have m times n. So it would just be these two multiplied. So we would end up having a to the power 1 over 3 times a plus h to the power 1 over 3. And then we would end up having n squared, which would just be this to the power of 2. So 1 over 3 times 2 would be 2 over 3. So this would end up being a to the power of 2 over 3. Right, I was kind of running out of room here, so I put the plus here, but this is basically all one line. And so now, when you multiply this by this, you'd end up getting m to the power of 3, so it would be this to the power of 3. Notice what happens, 1 over 3 times 3, those cancel out, so you would just be left with the a plus h, right? We had the third root over here of a plus h, so then taking that to the power of 3 would just give us a plus h by itself. And then we would have minus uh, n to the power of 3 would be the third root of a to the power of 3, which would just give us a. All right, I know it's kind of hard to follow here. I'm trying my best to explain it. It's a little tough, but basically it's the same process as, um, <clears throat> as rationalizing when we use the difference of squares. Right, so if we have like the one more time root a minus or let's use different uh, letters we'll have like root m minus root n what we do is we multiply that by root m plus root n to end up giving us m minus n that's the process we have this we multiply it by this so we can get this and then things cancel out they simplify as we've shown in previous examples well we're doing the exact same thing but now we're given this, and because it's the third root, we're going to be using a difference of cubes. So we would take this, multiply it by this. This would be like multiplying it by this bracket when we did a difference of squares, when we rationalize with a difference of squares. And then multiplying it by this ends up giving us that. Right? So going back now to this, basically we're taking this term multiplying it by this bracket, but we can't just multiply a numerator by something. We got to multiply the denominator by the same thing. So it would be like taking this and multiplying it by one. So we're not changing it, we're just adding more onto it. That was the exact same process when we've rationalized before.
And so what happens now, we'll have the limit as h approaches zero, this bracket times this bracket, as I showed, is just basically that expression. So this times that, we end up with a plus h minus a at the top. And then these two expressions I'm going to keep separate. So we're going to end up having h times all of this. So a plus h to the power 2 over 3 plus a to the power 1 over 3, a plus h to the power 1 over 3, plus a to the power of 2 over 3. Close bracket. And hopefully you can see what's happening now. Notice the a's cancel out, a minus a, and then we're just left with an h at the top. And so from here what happens, notice since we're only left with an h at the top, notice that it's going to cancel out with that bottom h. And then we're just going to be left with a 1 up top. And now what we can do, because this h went away in the denominator, we can now plug in 0 for all the remaining h's. So notice this would go to 0. Notice that would go to 0. So what we would end up having is the slope of the tangent being 1 over a to the power 2 over 3 plus uh, a to the power 1 over 3 times a to the power of 1 over 3 plus a to the power of 2 over 3. Like that. Notice these two are multiplying with the same base, their expon uh, exponential terms, so we could add the exponents. So we would have a to the power 2 over 3 plus a to the power 2 over 3 plus a to the power of 2 over 3, right? 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 is 2 over 3. Notice these are all the same. There's like a 1 in front of all of these. So we would end up having 1 over 3 times a to the power of 2 over 3, like that. And so this here is the expression. This is the slope of the tangent for this function third root of x at any x value a. So any x value a on this function, if we plug it in here, this here is going to give us the slope of the tangent on that function. But remember, what are we trying to do? We're trying to find the coordinate where the slope of the tangent is going to be 1 over 12. So what we would do is we would take this expression, the last step, and we would find out at what a value is the slope of the tangent going to be 1 over 12, like that. And so what we can do from here is, uh, is we could cross multiply. So 12 times 1 is 12. This term times that gives us 3a to the power of 2 over 3, like that. Notice we could divide both sides by 3. Even this algebra is kind of tricky. So we end up getting that, but we need to isolate for this a. So whenever you have something, uh, how to show this? Yeah, let's say we have, let's say we have m to the power of x over y equals n. If we want to isolate for this m, it's basically going to be n, the other side to the power of the reciprocal of that. Because if we take this to the power of the reciprocal 3 over 2, take this to the power of 3 over 2, notice that 2 over 3 times 3 over 2, what does that give us? That gives us 1. So notice now the a is by itself. So the a is 4 to the power of 3 over 2, which is... Um, Let's erase this over here. Let's do this work on the side. So 4 to the power of 3 over 2 is like 4 to the power of 1 over 2 to the power of 3, which is like 2 to the power of 3, right? 4 to the power of 1 over 2 is the square root of 4, which is 2 to the power of 3 gives us 8. And so the a value is 8. So at this a value or at this x value on this function, the slope of the tangent is going to be 1 over 12. You could test this as well. You could take this 8, plug it in here. 8 to the power 2 over 3 would give you 4 if you do that algebra. Or even if you plug it into your calculator, 8 to the power 2 over 3 would give you 4. 4 times 3 is 12. 1 over 12. So remember what the question is. At what coordinate 
on this function, is the slope of the tangent going to be 1 over 12? Or the original question was, when is it going to be perpendicular to a certain line? But that line had a slope of negative 12, so a perpendicular slope would be 1 over 12. So we have the x value, sorry, um, 8. They want the full coordinate, so we would just find f of 8, which would be the third root of 8, which would give us 2. So that's the full coordinate, 8 and 2, and that's the final answer. Right? So as I mentioned, pretty tricky question. Again, lots of teachers won't be covering this complex of a function within this section with using the difference quotient because to use the difference quotient on this, you got to bring in the difference of cubes and then rationalizing that is a lot uh, tougher than doing it with a difference of squares. But just in case they do, that's the, uh, that's the process. 8 and 2 is the final answer.